say go get Rangers. Uh-huh. I say in Mike likes go it. Go get Rangers. Go get Marlins. Ooh. Oh. All right. So I want to bring up two people that I think you remember yesterday, uh, Corey, you talked about what could they do this. And then I said something easy to do is go get a left handed reliever that helps you out. And I'll re-mention this. Brock Burke just hasn't worked out since 2022. I don't know what happened to him. He was very good in 22. He just hasn't been ever since. And then Jacob Latz has been put in a situation that's probably too much for him at this point. He needs to be more like your seventh, eighth reliever uh, rather than your third or fourth reliever at times. Now Spores is back. LeClerc got out of a big situation yesterday in the seventh inning. But A.J. Puck. Now, if you just go look at him, he's 29 years old. And he has an ERA that's just gotten under five for the first time all year. It's at a 497. So you're going to be like, why do I want this guy? Well, he's six foot seven, 250 pounds. He has been pitching great ever since they took him out of the rotation early in the year. I'm going to give you his June numbers. In relief, he had a 245 ERA. He was two and two. Obviously, wins and losses aren't a big deal as a reliever. Sure. And he had um, three holds. In a 2-4-5 ERA in 14 and two-thirds innings, he had uh, 15 Ks to two walks. Uh, so he pitched well. In July right now, he only has three appearances, but in his three innings, he has no walks, five Ks, and a zero ERA with a hold on a horrible team. I think they've yeah. only won 27 games. So what I'm bringing up here is – This is a guy who has this year and I believe two more years of control until he becomes a free agent. So this would be a guy you could trade for and you would have him in your bullpen after this season is over for the next two years. So all of a sudden you get a big, long, six foot seven lefty that throws in the high 90s out of your bullpen right so this would be a guy that i would love to pick up and i don't think would cost you a lot now here's the next guy i would like to get i don't want to just trade for the marlins and get one guy i want to trade for the marlins and get two guys now this is going to cost me a little bit more but they have another lefty who is having a tremendous season overall and that is tanner scott is their closer Okay. He has 13 saves and a 1-4-2 ERA this year for a horrible team. So he's been pretty good for a while. Last year with the Marlins, in 74 games pitched, he had a 231 ERA, a whip of under one. So you're looking at a guy last year, he had 104 four. strikeouts. Wow. So this dude is a stud. So now he is going to cost you a little bit more, but maybe not a whole bunch more because if I have his – service time right he's a free agent at the end of the year so this would be a short-term pickup and puck would be a long-term pickup now i don't know what you could do with tanner scott at the end of the year he's 29 years old now he did go to a texas school i think when i was looking him up he went to to howard i don't think that's i i'm tanner scott or puck tanner scott went to to howard college in brent big spring texas yes A.J. Puck, I remember, I loved him out of the University of Florida. He was drafted very high, first-round top-10 pick by the Oakland Athletics in 2016. I'm surprised he wasn't better, but he would be a great left-handed reliever that you would have for this season, plus two more, so that's not – and he's going to cost you 5 to $8 million on his arbitration number. I think that's very doable for your future. Tanner Scott, I'm trying to scroll down as fast as I can to, to baseball reference. Tanner Scott, it says, according to Wikipedia, graduated from Howland High School in Howland Township, Ohio. Okay. Is that what you were Well, no, no, no he, he, went to went Howard, to, he got drafted out uh, of Howard College in Big Spring, Texas. So, okay. But that helps out, Reggie. He isn't from Texas. I thought maybe that would be even something more. He'd be like, yeah. oh, this is awesome. But at least he did go to college here. They only have baseball and basketball at Howard, by the way. Okay. He it says sports. he signed through 2024 earliest free agency 2025. So I guess you as, as far as I'm if I'm reading that correctly, he would be a free agent. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the season, but go get Marlins. <laughs> if you got those two guys, just think uh-huh. of if you're gonna make a run and you get especially like I know you're it's too too uh you can't do this now. But you're about to play the Houston Astros, Jordan Alvarez. Uh, you look at Kyle Tucker. 
you just look at those situations. If you were to make the playoffs and you play the Yankees and Juan Soto's having a great year and you have A.J. Puck and Tanner Scott at the back end of your bullpen with David Robertson and Kirby Yates and you have that four-pack of guys, now LeClerc and Spores become your sixth-inning guys that you use. Robertson and your two lefties are kind of your seventh, eighth inning guys, and Kirby Yates is still your closer. But if you feel better in the eighth inning, you got out. Let's just say A.J. Puck comes in, or sorry, the seventh inning, A.J. Puck comes in against the Yankees. I'm just I'm making up a series. Let's go with the Orioles. A.J. Puck comes in, and he gets out Gunnar Henderson and Adley Rushman to end the seventh. And then coming up is Santander, um, you know, the the Westberg, who's their sure. third baseman, who's really, just got all star. Yeah. And you bring in and you put Kirby Yates in the game there. Yeah. And you're like, dude, they got three. And now Kirby Yates is good against lefties, too. So that doesn't matter. He's good against everybody. But do you understand what I'm doing here is I'm now creating arguably the best bullpen you could possibly have. So. I think you got to trust that your hitting is going to come along Mm -hmm. and keep doing what they're doing recently. But if I make a trade and I go get Tanner Scott and I go get A.J. Puck from the Florida Marlins and one of them gets to stay with me, I know, for the next couple years, the other one I'm hoping I can re-sign in the offseason, at least one of them, whether it's Kirby Yates or Tanner Scott, I would love to have both of them back, but Tanner Scott – is going to be 30 years old on July 22nd. He still has a lot of time left. For Kirby sure. Yates I love, but I don't know how much sure. time he has left in his career. But I think those could be two major pickups, not only for this season, but possibly for the next couple years. So go get Marlins, two lefty relievers that could really help out. <laughs>